12 Substances Break the Laws of Physics Now you will see substances that behave as if they were just frames from science fiction films. Look at this, this, and this. Although, no, this is really from the movie. Well, this is definitely not focus. Well, as always, we prepared all the most interesting for those who watch the video to the end. We'll start with an unusual polymer called Terminator. If you recall the plot of the second part of the same film, it will become clear why this substance is so-called. The polymer can again become whole if you divide it into several parts. Another material has similar properties, self-healing plastic. It costs him to at room temperature. Broken atomic bonds are restored. This happens in 97% of cases. These are miracles created by the aromatic sulfides that make up this plastic. And here's another miracle. The Wanta black material is the blackest substance on Earth. This unusual substance consists of vertically oriented arrays of carbon nanotubes. Such tubes are artificially grown on aluminum foil at low temperatures. They are so densely packed together that they reflect only a tiny 0.035% of the world and 99.965% the radiation incident on it is absorbed, so the Vanta black is so black. Because of this property, we perceive this material as if it was just a black spot superimposed in a video editor. An object made of it does not seem voluminous. Instead, we see a mysterious dark hole or just a black spot. On this super black substance, we also will not see any folds, even if the material is crumpled strongly. The human eye does not recognize it. Another unique Line X thing is paint that makes things more durable. Line X material creates long polymers that connect to the surface of the object, form a dense layer of plastic. Take a look at these ordinary plastic cups. After coating Line X, even the weight of such a hefty guy does not matter to them. Graphene is the most durable material on Earth, 300 times stronger than steel. A graphene sheet with an area of one square meter with a thickness of just one atom is capable of holding an object weighing four kilograms. Graphene is like a napkin. You can bend, fold, stretch. Carbon has many allotropes. Some of them, for example, diamond and graphite have been known for a long time, while others discovered relatively recently, 10 to 15 years ago. It should be noted that graphite is known for many decades. It is a stack of graphene sheets. That is, it contains several graphene planes. Graphene was found by Konstantin Novsilov and Andre Game, who work at the University of Manchester, for which Russian scientists were awarded the Nobel Prize, and they received it very simply, exfoliating a regular schedule using adhesive tape until they got a layer with a thickness of just one atom. The next on our list is the mysterious material starlight. The starlight-coated egg turned out to be generally liquid, even after it was warmed to a temperature of 1500 degrees. NASA's spokeswoman later confirmed that starlight is not fake and has unlimited possibilities for use. Unfortunately, it never came to mass use. The inventor owned exclusive rights to the material and in 2011 took the secret of production with him to the grave. There is still a special class of materials called aerogels. In fact, it is a gel in which the liquid phase is completely replaced by a gaseous one. It is often called frozen gas, is a solid. Air gel, it can be 98.8% air, and this material is super strong. It can withstand 1000 times its own weight. The American chemist invented this extraordinary substance, Stephen Kisliar. Imagine as early as 1931, almost 90 years ago, he published in the Journal of Nature the results of his first astounding experiments. Later in the 60s, they started talking more actively about aerogels. Has an extremely low density. The air gel has super low thermal conductivity, and it is also very light. 150 blocks the size of a brick weigh 4.5 liters of water, and the air gel has unique super insulating properties. For example, this thin layer can protect this man from open flame. The most extensive area of application of air gel is Cosmos. It is actively used by aerospace engineers as a heat insulator. But the material that also loves heat is nitinol or titanium nickelide. An alloy of nickel and titanium, which has very unusual properties. This substance can remember its original shape and return to it after deformation. 
The effect is achieved by heating the alloy to 650 degrees Celsius. The material is given the necessary shape, while its molecular lattice remembers its structure. Even if the lattice is deformed, then it returns to its initial state. For this, it is necessary to heat nitinol to about 50 degrees Celsius. Here, it is a broken clip, again whole after it was placed on the burner of an electric stove. Or here, it is a wire that returned to its previous shape after being in warm water. The heating temperature depends on the grade of the alloy. For example, these glasses can be bent as you like at low temperature, but at room temperature they will regain their shape. This strange watch uses ferromagnetic fluid, another substance that she wanted to sneeze on the laws of physics. It was created in 1963 by NASA employee Steve Papel. The scientist had to solve an important problem, how to make the liquid in the fuel tank of a spacecraft approach the hole from which the pump pumps fuel into the combustion chamber. So Papel came up with the idea of adding some kind of magnetic substance to the liquid. A ferromagnetic liquid consists of ultra-fine magnetic particles, usually iron. When the liquid gets under the influence of a magnetic field, it begins to give out bizarre somersaults and form amazing structures. They called ferrofluids. Each such particle is coated with a surface active substance that prevents them from sticking together. In fact, a ferromagnetic fluid is a colloidal solution, a substance that combines the properties of more than one stage of matter. In this case, a liquid and a solid metal. Ferromagnetic fluid has a very low coefficient of friction. In contact with a solid, it can also penetrate very small objects and wet almost any surface. Gallium. This is a metal that goes into a liquid state at a temperature of 29 degrees Celsius. That is, picking it up in a few seconds, you will find a warm puddle in the palm of your hand. The amazing thing is that if you put a piece of gallium in a glass with hot liquid, it will dissolve right before your eyes. Gallium's other properties have a special effect on aluminum. In contact with gallium, it becomes extremely fragile and brittle. But there is a benefit from gallium. It is sometimes used in thermometers. Helium-2 Helium itself is already unique. This is the only gas that liquefies at the lowest temperature of minus 269 degrees, and even with further cooling, it retains a liquid state. Although all other substances on Earth become solid. But that's not all. In 1937, the famous Soviet scientist Pyotr Kapitsa conducted several interesting experiments. They showed that at temperatures below negative 271 degrees Celsius, liquid helium acquires the ability to flow without any friction. This phenomenon was called superfluidity. For example, if you take a microscopic gap through which water will flow for many years, helium passes through it in seconds. This amazing substance is called helium-2. Another superpower of helium-2 is the ability to very quickly form films on a solid surface. Films of any ordinary liquid are very thin and slowly spread on the surface due to their high viscosity. Helium has no viscosity at all, so this process takes hundreds of times faster, an approximate speed of 20 centimeters in a second. Now, look at a substance called supercooled rubidium. It violates the laws of physics most clearly, specifically Newton's second law on motion. For example, if you push the door forward, it will move forward. But what happens to supercooled rubidium, cooling to absolute zero, rubidium behaves like a substance with a negative mass. If force is applied to it, contrary to Newton's law, it will begin to move in the opposite direction to that force. Do you know what is the most amazing substance that no one has ever felt before? This is ether. Before the Einstein era, ether was considered as a physical phenomenon. For example, Nikola Tesla. He saw huge potential in ether, and its existence was proved in the experiments of Dayton Miller in the 30s. An American scientist experimentally recorded the ethereal wind of light waves, which made Michelson Morley's experiments invalid. They seem to prove the constancy of the speed of light on which Einstein's theory rests. Miller, in letters, informed Einstein about the results of his 24-year-old work, which confirmed the presence of the ether wind, which means the ether itself. But Einstein ignored this information because it was contrary to his ideas. It is not surprising that after the death of Miller, his works never appeared in any scientific sources. And for today, we are done. What materials from this video would you like to experiment with at home? Write in the comments and rate the video, if the topic is worth it, so that we understand that we are worth not in vain. Set up notifications and see you in the next video, which will certainly come as a surprise to you.